Hello ladies and gentlemen and everything else in between. I hope you're having a good day, night or whatever time it is for you. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the shiny hunting leaks that have came out um, about two days ago, but I haven't seen people really cover for Tales of Tenari. So we got what is likely, and I do believe is in fact, the final devlog before Tales of Tenari releases in about, I think it's three, four days. Personally, I'm really excited and I hope you are too. So these came with some major news for shiny hunting. First of all, adjustments to chaining. Chaining right now will affect the entire evolutionary line. So if you are hunting on a route where maybe two members of the same line can be found, or even if it's something where there's a split evolution that can be found, the entire species line will be affected. And personally, I think this is great. It's a nice little change that makes getting a shiny actually easier. And because of course chaining means you encounter more of that specific line, you're going to be getting a lot more unique finds. Now, as well, it was also said that post-launch, if chaining is too easy or too hard, they are more than happy to adjust it in patches instead of just waiting for an event update or something or a story update to do it, which personally, I think is what it should be. Now, as for shiny starters, I made a video on this. It was actually my last video. And we actually see what shiny Rabush looks like. And we also learn that in the opening cutscene for the game where you get your starters, like the opening starter cutscene, you actually see whether or not your stars are shiny, similar to something like Heart Gold, Soul Silver, where you're able to check all three, which is great for someone like me who doesn't really want one specific shiny starter. Like personally, I like Chihuahua, it's my favourite one, but I'd be happy with any of them. So that's good. That's basically cutting down the time it's going to take to get a shiny by three. Now, when it comes to overworld shinies, back to it, if you spawn too far from a shiny, you might not be able to hear the uh, shiny. Um, like the shiny noise which we know is coming it was uh, revealed in an uh, early data leak um, there will actually be a bright beam different but also like with differently colored to the ruptures but similar enough where it'll stick out it won't be just a very small thing now for me I think this is great I quite like this I think it's really nice I'm really excited to shiny hunt in this game I think the shiny hunting system looks great and I really like shiny rabush but yeah, lots of being said. Hope you're having a good day, night, or whatever time it is you. See ya.